my father died of uh, lung cancer at the age of 38, even though he, he was the only one of his generation who never smoked. I was three when it happened, so, of course, I forgot him instantly. But my mother tried to make up for this by obsessively telling me stories about him. This sort of uh, rolling epic that trailed me through life, but they or it uh, ended up being mostly about her, which was probably for the best. But uh, anyway, it, it went like this. Uh, my mother, Marina O'Malley, back then, uh, moved to New York in the spring of 59. She was 20. Her, her parents had staked a new year, and she arrived with a carefully thought out plan to be amazing at something. Well, uh, a year went by without much happening. and She was miserable because she was afraid that she was going to have to leave New York and move back in disgrace to Brooklyn. So uh, early one morning, after a night when she couldn't sleep at all, she she started wandering around the city. It, it was raining, and, and she had her umbrella. And uh, she sat on a bench in Washington Square Park and felt sorry for herself. Then uh, she saw my father for the first time. There he was. She said this devastatingly handsome man, and that was an exaggeration. He uh, He looked like me. And uh, he was obviously, miraculously, even more unhappy than she was. He was just, uh, he was just thrashing through the rain, just pacing and thrashing until all at once he, he just stopped and uh, he just sank onto the bench beside her. But um, not because of her. He didn't realize she was there, and uh, he didn't have an umbrella, so my mother shifted hers over to him. Despair, my mother told me, can be very attractive in a young person. And despair in a young person can be seductive. Well, um, eventually she got tired of him not noticing the wonderful thing that she was doing for him, so, so she said to him a little too loudly, Can I help you? May, may I be of help to you? Uh, because uh, he'd been crying, and, and he jumped. Man, he, he shrieked, but... Uh, but he stayed anyway, and they talked, and I was born. The end. Okay? So, um, my mother had been telling me this story for about ten years before it had occurred to me to ask, well, well, why was he crying? What was my father so upset about the first time he met you? I never knew, she said. Um, he, he just told her that, that he was fine, and then she took him to breakfast, and I guess she kind of gawked at him, and the more that she gawked, the happier he must have felt, because by the end of breakfast, it, it was as if nothing had happened, and, and they were laughing, and, and my mother was in love, and, and, the, and the worst day of her life had become the best day of her life. She's, um, she's hardly ever home anymore. She, she travels from city to city. I think that she's, um, looking for another park bench and another wet guy. That's okay. I, I hope she finds him.